Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to Mr. Answer Rex's Old Random Bollocks Part 18 of the Soul Level 1. Let's play this time The Bit of Chaos and Lost Eyes. I'm so tired and it's very hard. The Bit of Chaos and Lost Isolith, aka the worst boss in the game and the worst least finished area in the game. Uh, so yes, like I said, it's really hot as I'm sure you're aware. And I'm very, very, very tired. So, let's do this shit. So, how are you all? For those that don't know, yes, I did finally purchase Dark Souls Remastered. Yes, it looks almost identical to the original version. So, you know, barely any different. Uh, but that's not why I bought it. I bought it to do PvP videos. So, yes, there will be PvP videos coming up as and when they are ready. No, I'm not going to do a, any regular playthrough on camera of Dark Souls 1. We've done plenty of those. PvP videos. That's what you can hey, expect. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the magical world of Dark Souls. Last time, we killed three bosses in one video, and we died many, many times in the process trying to achieve that. We didn't die that much. Come time. on now. We're going to die even more, because up next we have the Bed of Chaos, a.k.a. the Bane of my existence. And no, I'm not talking about Bane from Batman. Not when Gotham is in ashes. You have my permission to die. No, not that guy. No, no, no. This boss is horrible. Just it was horrible. a terrible anyway, impression. So I'm drinking a smoothie. There, but before that, uh, I got this from uh, a takeaway place. Zelda Chicken Bugger. And yes, it was awesome. delicious. There's not much here, but it does look awesome. Besides, this is the you thickest know, the smoothie I've ever seen in my life. Me as we speak. It's yeah, thicker than King Kanda Kim yeah, Kardashian's fake oh, ass. Really, it's very smooth for a smoothie. Are what the community called dragon butts. Basically, they are the arsed ends of dragons. You remember the undead dragons? Yeah, you see those in dudes in the, the distance? They're the arse of that But those that do not know, <laughs> as he is saying, and they these are, are quite literally Holy shit. They are really the back fast. end as you can tell, they can run of the, the undead dragons. You know the guy that we saw that was asleep you, uh, in oh the Valley God, of the Drakes? Just terrible, just terrible. And the other one that we will but see in the Painted they World? Almost no field of vision or yeah, they're the back end of those dudes. Because, you know, they don't have a head, therefore they don't have ears, so it makes so sense. So quite literally, all they, they did was cut off the head. One of them, and that's pretty much what and uh, they obviously I'm changed sure the AI a bit. I'll give them that. Because, you know, the dragon doesn't fight like they do. Doesn't sort of really stamp really around and jump up and down because they have close, they got some jumps, close. man. And here, I we but get uh, a a yeah, hero. as far as the model and goes, it is heard, was one of them it's just a dragon and ass. One of them off already, and they've copy pasted but like what thirty careful, plus of those around bastards around here. Can I take a detour around the guy and then head to where we need like to go say, next? I don't want to call it lazy. I just think they were really pressed for time when they got to designing this area. And look at the luminous orange lava. Good God. It's so rare that you'll even aggro one of them, but it's scary as hell being surrounded by like a hundred things. Oh, you know here's another one thing. Of them can kill you quite easily. For those who do not know, don't remember if I mentioned this in the video, we will get twin but if we apparently down, when Dark Souls first came out, reward, this area bonfire, which is was way different. Handy, At least in terms of, the these guys would the aggro on you from really far away. Whereas you can see, I think a lot of people complained about it. And they hit it because they're dead. Rightfully so, I guess, because this area is already crappy without like having now, fifty or thirty or whatever I'm of these bosses just chasing you around all over the place. So yeah, I think the one we're looking for. Oh, they are called bounding demon. Just run! I can hear him. Okay, dragon ass. God damn it! Just keep running. So yeah, now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the last one. Barely aggro any of them at all. I think you kind of have to aggro like one or two of them to get through the air, and that might be it. Rest of them you don't need to go near. There's no items or anything over there to find. Like, there's just... I think there's like one or two items in this whole area. Even though this is a massive map full of lava and dudes. So, yeah, again, just... Not the best... Not the best design, really. Just run out here and instantly die. Okay, we Just got my smoothie, I told you. Hell of a long run to get to the boss. This is, I'm pretty sure at least, mm, definitely one of, if not the gross. furthest bonfire from any boss in the game. I hate it, and it's for me, my least favorite boss. And most people will share that sentiment. Because basically, the deal with this boss... I just got to the Demon is, Ruins, by the way, on my uh, it's not even remastered playthrough. On skill as much as it is just Which, again, I say playthrough, I'm just... Basically playing as much of the game as I need now. to to make my it's PvP really character. Seen it, but yeah, it's, it's not a fun boss. Even the developers themselves have said they are not proud of this boss. Yes, Miyazaki. That, I still think I the guy behind Dark Souls, the main man, the big cheese, the, the Don, does, 
Even though the better the, uh, is, uh, the, the big bullshit, kahuna, nothing's quite as etc. etc. As the messed up Him. hitboxes on our good friend Caesar's sister. Uh, he right. has actually apologized Some people call it in an interview. I call it I, I've never heard ring. it. I assume it was in Japanese. But this is true. He's apparently apologized yeah, in an interview for the bed of chaos. An octopus person, they have a grab attack. That's how you know a boss is really and shit. You do a plunging, when the developer is like, look, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Okay, so we've got an NPC invasion coming up, and we're about to see one of the daughters of chaos. One of the few that actually looks human. I I think <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. As I was about to say before, oh, you know, that's she funny. Really one shot me. I'm just like, don't She's mind me. Whoosh. <laughs> looks human dead. as opposed to you know some weird spider creature or some shit. Oh crap! Get Didn't the she hell kill me a bunch of there. times? But you know she could be deformed. Excuse the sucker on the straw. I want to finish my smoothie, it. goddamn. It's good enough for me. Oh crap! Here comes Kirk. Well, yeah, as yeah, I was about to say, I don't think this one has a name. Come here, Kirk. Why Come does that not hear Kirk? I feel, I feel ripped off by that. <laughs> Come on, where's my repost? God damn it! Let's get the stairs. The stairs mess up repost like all the time. Kind of sucks. No. Jesus Christ! No, 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 no. Oh, crap, you deserve to die then. Crap, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, you deserve to die. That was some horrible play right there. I got very aggressive. God damn, you're like sometimes it's good here. to be aggressive, sometimes it's not. Justice, really? Ten? Ten damage. Okay. I mean, I know she's like a fiery bitch, but Jesus, it's great combustion. It was irregular combustion. And isn't my hand fully oh. upgraded? God damn. Yeah, it's I had a feeling she killed me a few times. This is not going well. This is going very badly. I'm finishing my okay. smoothie. Screw the tactics. We're just gonna freaking bum rush her. <laughs> there we go. Why didn't I just do that in the goddamn go, first dead. place? She's not even hard. She's All right, it's done. I apologize. But she's not hard. You hit her and she can't do shit. I don't know why I didn't do that before. And yeah, she can run up and backstab him straight away. You, if I'm smart, I'll do a jump attack. jump attack. I was smart, but he rolled. That's it. Again, he was smart too. That. He was a smart sweet, bastard. Sweet yes, you are. Dance of death. Well, by I the way, can confirm in the remaster version. Uh, the demon ruins slash lost eyes do not run horrible, like us. So that's nice. Because for me, <laughs> the demon ruins in particular has always run here, worse than Blind Town. To find the bed of I find alone yet. in that, but yeah, or at least this like go as bad. Very, very well indeed. Da -da 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 -da. These guys have a spit attack as well, where they shoot kind of acid out of their handy things, whatever they are, the tentacles. And it corrodes handy things, stuff. yeah. This is Chaos Fire Whip. Yeah, handy that's things. What she used to one shot me the first time. That bitch. God damn, man. Anyway. It's time to take on the Bed of Chaos. By the way, in case you don't know, the Bed of Chaos is the Witch of Izalith, the mother of the Daughters of Chaos. She has been turned into some weird This thing, is something... Just like most of them, and that's why there was one of the daughters outside the boss room. She's protecting her mother. And we killed her for it. And you know what? That makes me very, very happy. She deserves Very, very happy. Boy, did she well, deserve controller she on my lap. I guess I was going to play something and then it never before. actually happened. I no, I knocked over my empty smoothie. So frankly, uh, I was gonna say, this is something I didn't realize the first time I played through the game when I got to the bit of chaos. Because I remember, you know, in the opening cutscene, they're like, Oh, the Witch of Lizalith. Lizalith? I guess I'm tired. The Witch of Lizalith and her daughters of chaos. And the furtive pygmy so easily forgotten and shit like that. Uh, yeah, so in the opening, I was like, Oh, the Witch of Lizalith. We're gonna fight a witch at some point. And it never happened. Because when I got here, I didn't realize this was her, because, you know, different name and everything else. So I was very confused. Having finished the game, I was like, what the hell was the Witch of Chaos? Or the Witch of Isolith. Witch of Chaos? Bed of Chaos, there you go. Look, very tired. I can't stress that enough. That's why I'm not recording a video game. Because I can barely keep my brain awake enough to give you commentary here that doesn't completely and utterly suck. If I play a game at the same time, I will just melt into a puddle of tired hotness. If you look carefully at the flame above her, it actually looks kind of human-shaped. Like that big glowing orb there, I believe is supposed to be the head. You see the shoulders? And let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. You just about to see, this is the head. This is the neck here. These are the shoulders going around this way. See down here. These are the arms. Do, do you see? Do you see? Do you see it now? 
So somehow you're like freeing her fiery arms when you do that? So yeah, this is where shit's I... gonna get real. And here's the thing, the there's no being confirmed, but some people think the little bug they're dudes, pick out the leg, the uh, some people think the little bug everywhere. dudes that you kill on top of that, either side of right her are her other daughters, because... And the cutscene, she has like seven daughters or whatever, so if we count them up, we've got the one outside the boss room, we got the two spider ladies, the fair lady and Quail in other words, we got the lady outside the spider lady, Quail or whatever her name is, that's four, we got the dead one in front of what's his face, that's five, I can't think of any more, so that would mean we're missing two. So it could be those two, yeah. It does actually add up. Again, unless I'm forgetting one, which I might be. I was teetering on the edge. We're almost there. Go, go, go. Get out of my damn way. Go, go, Yes. Number two down. I can't remember if I did this first time. I don't think I did. I think I might have got swatted out of midair when I was trying to jump down the pit or something. Oh, and I forgot to mention, these are basically checkpoints. Once you've done part of this, it will stay that way. So, oh, God. What is this music? <laughs> I don't remember the music sound like this. Well, there you go. I was right on. So, so yeah, here's another thing. The two you know when they put the side, two checkpoints they they are, so in the handy. boss right. as well? Yeah, you know the only boss, for the best of my shrine. knowledge, and do the next part in of any of the Dark Souls games, you will see included Adam and Clean, Demon Souls, and Bloodborne in there. Again, I may be wrong. But I'm... Pretty sure it's the other one. Any of them has checkpoints. Of how muffled she sounds. And the reason I love it is because it's a voice actor, right? Well, a voice actress. Do you gotta think? How did they do that? Did they have her like talking to a cup, or did they did they have her put a helmet on when she was recording the lines? I like to think they had them put on helmets. Like Soler. Soler sounds like he's wearing a helmet, which is a nice attention to detail. I'm just saying, you know, when they're recording the lines in the studio for the game, I really hope they made them wear helmets. I'd love to hear that story, how they got the the sound. All right, so if we head down this route over here, this will actually take us around to where we need to be. Hello. To Maybe Sigma. they just put their hand over their mouth, because I know, uh, you can I can't remember oh, who. It's either Matt Stone or Trey Parker, obviously, but whoever voices Kenny on South Park said they do that. Yes, they just I cover their face with their the problem. hand. Basically, he can die here. Oh, you gotta oh, do oh. Combat, so your job is to keep him alive. The best way to do that is to actually take out all but the last enemy before you speak to him. If you kill all of them, it will actually break the quest completely and you cannot continue it. You must keep at least one of what them What if they fix that bug in respawn. Three's Master so, yeah, version? Let's kill these, I uh, hope so. Things, the hell they are. But I doubt I it. No. Oh, by the way, the only respawning Titan Demon in the game, right down there. And he's blocking a shortcut that will take us very near to the beginning. You remember where I killed the Taurus Demons outside the Demon? Oh, God! Outside the Demon Fire Sage room. The shortcut will take us back there. It's not the most. So I believe that demon game, drops two demon titanite, you know, whereas all the others drop one, I think. Again, it's been so long. I may be misremembering this, so don't take this as you know gospel, but I think that's the case. There. Let's go grab it, shall we? Oh, we fall into a pit of doom. If you run too quickly, yeah. you fall all the way down there. And what's down there? Four of those freaking dudes who, if you land in their mouths, will eat you. I've done that before. It sucks. What's that now, coming over the hill? Is it a monster? This is very we scary to me, by the way. Alive. As someone doesn't like when sea creatures so or water, really especially the two things small, combined. I mean, an octopus dude, whether they're in the water or not, they're basically a sea creature, right? The they're like a mutant the demon version of them. Work, they're like the Sarlacc pit from bloody Star Wars, but aquatic. Don't like it. Not a fan of it. But yeah, like I said, if you drop into their mouths from above, they will... They will chomp on you. You can mash L and R to get out. I recommend doing that if you ever get grabbed by anything in the game. Which they took that out of all the other Dark Souls games, don't know why. But there you go. Busting makes me bigger. I could always kill a couple of them. Go back to the bonfire, run all the freaking way. Hurry the balls up, the man. Just oh, throw yeah, the freaking fire with you goddamn pansy. How did that miss? How did that miss? Oh, great. One missed. Did that miss? God damn it, man. There you go. There we go. So it looks like we might be able to kill them in two shots. So we are enough to kill well, them two and a bit. wonder what now, gave that away was it the fact that the first one over half killed him. Maybe. God, I gotta be careful. I what a genius. What's a landing to those mouths? And like I said, the very first time I come here. I ran all the way across the crumbly ground, fell all the way down into there, right in the middle of them all, 
and got gang banged. It was the scariest experience. Yeah, they didn't eat me. I fell right yeah, in between so them, but they they messed the me up what really quick. I got a couple of throwing knives as well. I think we might just be able to pull this off. It was very I scary. Want to injure the fourth one as well, but you know we'll do what we can. How much is this gonna do? Oh, quite a bit actually. Yeah, we got enough. We can kill this guy and injure the other one. Fantastic. I think we're gonna be alright. Then again, this one's kind this of. This is how we ensure position. Onion Bro does not kick the bucket. These. That's a good start. Excellent. Come on, I can't waste these. Focus, damn Dark Souls, man, they brain. don't hold your hand. Brain, listen to me. I'm you gotta save a dude there. for no, a quest. Brain. He will. He will die if you don't help now. him. Come on, one more. Come on, Brain. Yes. Okay. The fourth one's half dead. Like I said, these guys will not respawn. And if you kill all of them, it will break the quest forever, and you cannot finish it. Make sure you do not kill all of them. I can't stress that enough. But yeah, yeah, God damn it! Pay attention, you sons of bitches! Stop killing of all of them before you speak to Brolair. I mean, we'll on your bro. And you fail the quest if he even goes below half HP, so you can't afford to him to take many hits at all. Quite frankly, <laughs> what's up, buddy? You gonna try and hit me? The dude's you? oddly <laughs> cute, but also okay, terrifying. It's like, I hello, I've got eyeballs and tentacles. Right, Come Squidward. give me a hug. No, I'm okay. You know. I'll pass. Kind of Thanks. Twister. Appreciate the offer. Let's go speak to Sigma, shall we? What up? What's up, bro? I've come to save you. Essie's asleep standing up. He does that. He's weird. I wonder if you can kick him in the pit. This is very warm. Don't tell me. Those monsters making life difficult for you. You need not be ashamed. We're all in the same boat, you know. I really have run Like, he time. sounds echoey as well. Is there something they use to post process mm -hmm. the audio so it sounds echoey? Or did they record him standing in a cave? Like, alright, Frederick, we're gonna need you to voice uh, Sigmire, so could you just come with us to this cave and read these lines? It's too dark, I can't read the sheet. Just wing it, man. I owe you much, by the honor of a knight of Katarina. Allow me to assist you. I know you can't hear any of this, I can barely hear it. I go. Don't be slow. Come on! Over here, you mean panic owls, because I am Big Fire of Katarina, and you Okay, so the astute among you may have noticed he didn't jump in the pits. That's a bug, you have to kick him on the ass. Sorry, Sigmire. This is for Sparta. Okay, now we got to kill this thing very Sorry, that really made me laugh. Yeah, Just the, the dry sarcasm there. The astute among you may have noticed he I didn't like jump it. in the pit. There's one more around here around the corner, actually. And apparently he's running off after it. What are you doing, Onion Bro? Stop it! God damn it, Onion Yeah, that's right. You don't... I don't think onion you have to kill it. this one you unless it gets close bro, enough. Bro, and then he okay. aggros on it. Then you got to save his bacon. I'm pretty sure he's above half HP. I certainly hope so. Right, let's grab our booty, because we love booty. Let's speak to him and hope... Yeah, there be booty, booty, says I. But you... Did you get away? Well, you saved me once again. Oh, thank goodness. I'm exhausted. I think I'll have a rest. Oh, don't you worry. The ground below me is my pillow. I'll recover. Shortly. Yeah. I mean... Weird place to take a nap. He will be fine. If he was gonna die, he would have died by now. So you know that's good. By the way, if you kill his daughter, that will also break the quest. So don't do that. Don't do that, you bastard. Right, if I remember correctly, and again, I probably don't because my memory is terrible. Pit of death, but I'm don't drop down sure there. Nothing down there but death. Around here somewhere. Is it this way? No? That's a dead end. Excellent. Good work, brain. Duh. I'm sure it's this way somewhere. Let's see if we can find it very quickly. Then I'll see you back at the Bed of Chaos because there's literally nothing else down here of importance. Pretty sure it's just that tiny nice slab. Where the god? There it is. Jump attack. Just making sure. And there's our red tiny slab. Okay, I'll see you back at the Bed of Chaos, and hopefully we'll finish her off. Yes! Yeah! Space Lord Motherfucker! This is the only good thing about this boss fight. You get to ride the awesome slide of doom. But, 
Schleider of Doom. None whatsoever, so you what know. crack was I on when I recorded these? All of the crack. So hopefully we won't need it. Probably have to run jump on this road. Oh crap. I hesitated. I'm alive. Never, I'm dead. Never hesitate. Just freaking go for it. I should have just jumped. Damn it. Okay, this time, bitch. You're mine. This time, don't hesitate. Just freaking Went go right for past it. my blood stain there. Don't know if there was anything there the we needed, but... Oh dear. <laughs> no. Right, screaming, go, go, go. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay down the here. Fall had killed me, man, would I have laughed. So run, freaking run. We're on the home stretch. You I like her it. beard looking thing she's got going on there. Bits of wood, go, go, cut down branches, flip, flip for all your worth. Flip faster, damn you. Oh, if you're not quick enough, uh, she'll explode Die. the ground under you and insta kill you. Yes. I think it's an insta kill depending Suck on your it. HP, but certainly with our HP. <laughs> okay. Do you like sixty thousand souls or something ridiculous worse? for this? Could have been yep. a lot worse. Right, one more thing before we end the video. Let's go grab my favorite armor set in the game, the Armor of Thorns. We get that for killing Kirk all three times. It yes, will next yes, to it is still my favorite set. In case you're wondering, the reason it appears here is it's a good in PvP for being a dick and rolling into people and stunning them with it. Of her to get humanity stunning. to heal her, because if you donate humanity to her, only really she gets works if they have no so poise though. He's kind of a good guy, but you know, there is, he blurs the line, you know, he's killing people to heal someone who may or may not be good herself, it's debatable. Quaylog was a bitch, I know that, but damn, she had fine titties, right? Let's put on the armor of thorns, <laughs> god I love this, it looks so I don't know awesome if she... and it's unique, because I think, actually, you know, when you're wearing remember, it, mostly I'm kidding when I say enemies, this stuff, they take damage, the titties weren't that great. For the little bit. I mean, if they were real, oh, they were pretty perky, but eh, she looked like she had some fake ones put in. Shield on as well, just for looks. Check that shit out, like a My bass. God, my right, Twitter guys, is in the I'm top right. Here, Still my Twitter. You should go follow me. You did, I, always appreciate it. I tweet and retweet like funny button, stuff. And I'll see you guys next All right, so thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, apologies that I am so tired, but hopefully it was good nonetheless. I will see you next time. I need to update the outro, but for now you get uh, last month's one until I record it, like right now. Anyway, good night everybody, and goodbye! Boop. Thank you everyone for watching the video, I do hope you enjoyed it, and an especially huge thank you to this month's 10 plus dollar tier patrons who are as follows. Don Lobo, KB, I'll be jiggered, Miss Justice 83, Black Wolf 8994, Billy Nying, Dr. Papa Penguin, Nuria Age, Philip Rep, aka Bebop56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, and Hitbox. And of course, thank you to the 5 plus dollar tier patrons who should be on the screen at any moment, and everybody in the lower tier as well. I wish I could list you all, but it would get kind of crazy. Thank you everyone, I genuinely couldn't do this without your support. If you would like to support me financially, you can do so over at patreon.com slash LP, or you can always just hit the like button or leave a comment, that helps out a great deal as well. Most of all though, just thank you for watching. Good night everybody, and goodbye!